quarantine to always being on the scene. Sea Law Productions Incorporated has birthed Sea Law Spot, and it is hot, hot, hot. Flaming hot with the Holy Ghost fire, as Minister Javon Ophelia Butler brings the word from the four winds of God of the third dimension, the place where God lives, pulling down the Kavad, God's Shekinah glory. Introducing Sea Law Spot, the virtual view. God's view about you. Boxing the devil through prayer. Prayer is your only weapon. God's mercies renew every morning. Join us for fire straight down from heaven as we go to war through prayer with Sila Serenity Prayer Line with Minister Javon Ophelia Butler. Dial in at 857-347-0610 or stream live from Sila Serenity Prayer Line on Facebook. For prayer requests, send your email to selahprayerline at gmail.com. Moving the nations through prayer and Sela Spot, the virtual view. Catch the wave and join the movement. Like us now. All things, Romans 8 and 28, for your good. Harder not your heart. And allow your heart to say yes to the spirit of obedience. The Lord is calling this nation down to its knees. Stop praying, heal the land, and ask God to heal you so that you can heal the land. God bless you. Fresh wind blowing, fresh wind blowing, fresh wind blowing, fresh wind blowing, holy ghost fire. God, we bless you, O oh God, in this new month of seven. O oh God, we lift you up, O oh heavenly and divine master. O oh God, we praise you in the heavens, O oh God, and we worship you, O oh God, in the earth realm. O oh God, for there is none like you. So we praise you. Oh, gracious master, oh God, in this seventh month, oh God, you all oh got high and mighty. Oh God, we praise you, God, that in the seventh month, oh God, it is complete. Oh God, I praise you in the heavens, oh God, as I think about your name, oh God, I see Adonai in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you are the master teacher, oh God, in this month of seven. So God, we thank you, God, for the spirit of completion in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you have already went before your people, oh God, and have blessed us, oh God, with the things and the provisions that we need in this month of seven. Oh God, five, oh God, represents, oh God, oh God, it represents, oh God, the number of grace. Oh God, we thank you, God, for seven, five, oh today, oh God, for seven plus five is twelve. Oh God, twelve, oh God, it's also a number of completion. Oh God, we thank you, God, that on this day, oh God, you are reassuring us, oh God. You are reassuring us, oh God, that it is doubly completed. Oh God, even in your word, oh God, when you have said something twice, oh God, you are trying to get your people's attention. Oh God, Saul, Saul, am I right about it? My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Oh God, we thank you, God, that you have doubly blessed us, oh God, on this day of completion. It is complete. It is complete. Seven completion. Seven plus try five is 12 completion complete complete oh god in jesus christ so god we thank you father for the great provision oh god that you have set forth for your people in this month of seven we thank you father that we have entered into a new cycle oh god of your mercy and grace oh god in this year oh god we have entered oh god into the second quarter oh god of the thing that you have orchestrated for our lives oh god for everyone oh god that's listening under the sound of my voice Oh God, bless him, oh God. Bless him indeed. Oh God, enlarge.
charge their territories, oh God, as they go forth, oh God, with the spirit of completion. I hear it in my spirit. It is complete. It is complete. Oh God, you are saying it twice, oh God, because you want to get our attention, oh God, for us to have the faith to believe, oh God, that you have already completed it and that you have already done it. So God, we praise you, Father. We thank you, God, upon this great day. Oh God, you see it in your word, oh God, Moses, Moses. Oh God, when you call people twice, my God, you are trying to get the attention of the people. Oh God, grab us, oh God, help us to see, oh God, that every single God that you have promised us, oh God, it is already complete. It is already complete. In the name of Jesus, double, double completion in the year of 2022, oh God, two meeting the number of agreements. God, we doubly agree with you, oh God, that it is doubly complete, oh God, in the name of Jesus concerning our lives. Oh God, we cancel, oh God, every demonic plan of the enemy. We cancel, oh God, every demonic plan of the witch. We cancel, oh God, every soothsayer, oh God, and every enchanter, oh God. We cancel, oh God, the plan of the devil, oh God, concerning our lives. Satan, the Lord himself, as we put you in this month of seven, it shall come to pass. Alas, it shall come to pass. God, when you say alas in the Bible, my God, you are trying to get our attention. The Lord says alas, it will come to pass. God is promising you that he has already done it. It's the name of Jesus. It is complete. It is complete. It is doubly complete upon this day of grace. Seven five will not lie. True lie will not lie. God says, I am a faithful God. Lamentations 3 and 23. God says, true lie shall not lie. Unless it will come to pass. God is promising you that whatever he has promised you, it shall come to pass. And that it is so. It is so, you know, otherwise. Oh, God, I thank you, Father, for the nieces that's listening. I thank you, God, for you, God, that in Antarctica. I thank you, God, for China, oh God. I thank you, God, for the UAE. I thank you, Father, for Dubai in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for Africa in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for Ethiopia, oh God. I thank you, God, for the nations of the world. I thank you for the USA. Oh God, bless, oh God, our president, oh God. Give him long life, oh God. Satisfy him, oh God. Lead him, oh God, into the ways and the paths of your righteousness, oh God, that he will lead, oh God, a holy nation, oh God, touch him in the name of Jesus, that he will be obedient, oh God, to the things that you are calling him to do, oh God, we thank you for the orchestration of your hand, we thank you, God, that you have intervened, we thank you, God, that you are helping to shape the laws, oh God, of this nation of the United States of America, oh God, you are strong and mighty, you are El Shaddai, oh God, you hold us up, oh God, in your right hand. Oh God, we praise you, God, that you are healing the nations, oh God. You are healing the nations as you intervene, oh God. You are healing the people, oh God, of the nations in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, God, that your spiritual, oh God, agenda is going forth, oh God. Oh God, at the White House, my God, your spiritual agenda is going forth. Oh God, at the Supreme Court, my God, your spiritual agenda is going forth. Who is the Lord? The Lord is strong and mighty. He is the King of Kings. Oh God, we thank you, God, that you rule and reign, oh God, in the nations, oh God, and in the nations to come. You are Alpha and Omega, oh God. You are the beginning and the end. Oh God, we thank you, Father. We thank you, God, that you are a present God, that your presence is present, oh God, that your presence is present, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I hear it in my spirit. July, July, July will not lie. True lie will not lie. I want you to believe it. I want you to say it. True lie will not lie. I will abide in July. I want you to say it. I will abide in obedience in the month of July. Oh God, we thank you, Father, for the testing. We thank you, God, even for the blessing. We thank you for your grace and your mercy toward us. Oh God, bless families. Bless people with health conditions. Oh God, let healing, oh God, be their portion. Oh God, let the lamb walk in the blind sheep. Oh God, miracle signs and wonders. Oh God, shall be their portion of God. In this month of seven, in this month of seven, it is complete. It is complete. Moses, Moses, my God, my God. Saul, Saul, come on, come on. Alas, 
Because the Lord says that I am letting it come to pass. God says, I've done it. I've already done it. God says, just say two words to me. And it is so and it shall be no otherwise. Say, thank you. God says, thank you. God says, say, thank you to me as I have worked for your behalf, oh God. We thank you, God, that you have worked on our behalf. In this month of seven, I hear the number 11. I know that the number 11, oh God, is the number of switch. You have switched up things, oh God, that your grace is sufficient, my God. Your grace is sufficient, oh God. Second Corinthians 12 and 9. We are grateful for your grace. We are grateful for your provision. We thank you, God, that you are supplying every need. Oh God, as I get off, oh God, let your ruach, oh God, of the south window, God, blow, oh God, into the houses of everyone. Blow into the cars of everyone. Blow into the workspaces of everyone. Blow into the cell phones or the regular phones, my God, of everyone that's under the sound of my voice. That provision, oh God, will be their portion, oh God, in this month of July. July will not lie. It is complete. It is complete. Unless God said, I'm bringing it to pass. In Jesus' name, I pray. I lift this prayer up to you, God. In the third dimension, oh God, before your 24 elders, the presence of your angels, the cherubims and the seraphims, oh God, your mighty angels of glory, the archangels of heaven, oh God, Michael, Gabriel, Gabriel, Jehudadel, Jehudadel, Raziel, and Uriel, oh God, even the angel that makes up your throne, Zoe, oh God, oh God, we praise you for the angelics, we thank you for third dimensional help, we thank you, God, for the only of angels, oh God, even in the second dimension uh, that fights the demonic forces uh, and the demons against our lives. Uh, oh God, even the international borders, I see it in my spirit. Uh, protect those, oh God, uh, that's preaching the gospel, oh God, uh, that's crossing the seas, my God, uh, your pure and righteous servants, oh God. Uh, protect them, oh God, uh, as they preach your word uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I'm reminded, uh, I'm reminded of First Timothy uh, in the third chapter. Uh, it says that God was seen in the flesh. He came in the flesh. Uh, he was Vindicated by the spirit, he was seen upon by the angels. He was preached in the nations. He was believed upon in the world. He was taken up into glory. Oh God, we thank you, Father, for blessing us, God, with the gospel of truth. The gospel of truth, oh my God. The gospel of truth shall reign in the land. I hear it in my spirit. The gospel of truth shall reign in the land. Remember, it is complete. It is complete. July will not lie unless God says I'm bringing it to pass. Oh, God bless you on this great day. I seal this prayer by the blood of Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, God bless you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Hello, hello, hello. I am back. I'm back. I'm back. We're going to ask that you lower the music. We're going to try this again. Amen. I'm telling you, welcome back, y'all. Fear and everyone that is watching. God is faithful. Am I right about it? I'm telling you, I just calmly waited to make sure that everything was everything. And I am back here to share. Amen. I'm telling you, God is getting ready to do it. And some of you realize, even as I got off the broadcast, I heard the Lord speaking to my spirit. Amen. And he wants to get this word out to everyone that's going to be watching on tonight. So we thank God for all of you that came back. I know when people see I'm back on, they're going to start coming back on. I see the numbers are going up. Amen. And so we want to make sure that we are clear and we have on our gear. Amen. Which is the word of God. So thank you so much for coming back on. I'm getting ready to preach that truth. I promise you. I trust God that the broadcast is going to do what it is supposed to do. If you can't see my face, you hear my voice. Am I right about it? Because I am standing in as an oracle on tonight. Oh, my God. For the word of God for your life on tonight. I want to welcome everyone that's just coming on. I guess you said, Minister Javon, you're on kind of late. But guess what? I will make sure 
that I complete my assignment on tonight. Amen. We thank God for Bruce Carter out there in Atlanta, Georgia. God's blessings to you, man of God. I'm telling you, this is our new addition, Miss Lily. Preach that truth. We got to preach the word of God. If we're not going to preach the word of God, then we don't need to preach nothing. Come on. I promised the Lord I was going to stay calm. Amen. I'm going to stay calm on tonight. But I'm excited about the fact that the Lord chose me to preach his truth. Am I right about it? And I'm going to say everything that the Lord has told me to say. I don't care, Miss Lily, who don't like it. I can care less who don't like it. As long as God is pleased with me, as long as God is pleased with you, then that's all that matters. Then you've done your part. Did not Jesus Christ, when he, when he gave up the ghost upon the cross, come on, when his, when his spirit was transitioned back to the Father, come on, he said, it is finished, which brings me to this month of seven. Seven is the number of completion. We are in the 14th day. Am I right about it? My God from Zion, I can already tell you that the seed on tonight, God says, I'm going to give you the seed on tonight when you sit back down in the chair. When God does not tell me to ask for a seed, I don't ask for a seed. But when he tells me about a seed, I know that the people that's watching me have a need. And so before I get back into the scriptures on tonight, he wanted me to put this up, media team, we are following instructions. He wanted me to put the seed up of 150. That's how much it is on tonight. That's how much you sow into the ground of Selah. And I promise you, the Lord is going to bless you a thousand times more. In the number of 150, 1515 is redemption. How many people know God is trying to redeem you on tonight? The Lord is trying to redeem you on tonight. He's trying to reenact some things in your life on tonight. Am I right about it? I want you to catch it. Why is it 150, woman of God? When I went and I sat and I waited for the broadcast to come back up, the Lord says that we are in the seventh month on tonight, which is Thursday. It's July the 14th. One plus four is five. God says, I want them to sow a hundred and $50 seed. He said, because the number 15 is the number of redemption. God is trying to redeem us on tonight. My God from Zion, my God from Zion, even I will sow my 150 seed. Am I right about it? I'm going to sow it into the oil of Selah. I'm going to bless someone with the 150, my God, because God is getting ready to redeem and to restore some things back into your life. But God says first, you have to repent at the rebuke. Oh, I want you to catch it. The information is on the screen. I want you to catch it on tonight. I want you to take it down just for a little while. Take it down just for a little while. You, God says to repent at the rebuke. What is God talking about on tonight? If I'm blurry, I'm going to keep going. That means the presence of God is setting upon this. Set. My God, I feel the glory in this place. I feel the glory upon this set. I'm telling you, those presence have set upon this set. The presence have set upon this set because God is getting ready to get some of you back into alignment with the assignment. Oh, my God from Zion. When I came back on the set, I was fiery, Althea. I'm telling you, Althea, God says I'm getting ready to get you back into alignment with the assignment. But let's calm it down. Let's bring it down a couple of notches. Am I right about it? We're going to bring it down a couple of notches. Come on. How many people know I'm theatrical? I'm a very theatrical preacher. I'm very animated is what people like to say, man. And that's all right. But God wants us to know that we have to be repentful at the rebuke. Put up Proverbs 1 and 23. That's the title. Obedience It's the training. We have to repent at the rebuke. That means when God has shown you that you have done something that's displeasing in his sight. Shall you continue to be disobedient? Am I right about what I'm saying? If God has told you about a thing, if God has nudged you about a thing to let you know he's not pleased about that thing, do you mean to tell me you are going to continue to do that thing? That 
is an insult and a disrespectful gesture to the Holy Father. Oh, I'm, I'm talking on this sanctified Thursday, thoughtful Thursday on tonight. Proverbs 1 and 23, it says, turn you at my reproof. My repro repro no, I want the New International Version. The New International Version says, repent at my rebuke. Then I will pour out my thoughts. I just said it's a thoughtful Thursday. Am I right about it? On you. He said, then I will make known my teaching to you. But I just want to talk about that first line. Repent at my rebuke. When God has shown you a thing. I was talking about John the Baptist. I was talking about Luke 3 and 19 earlier. When John the Baptist, he rebuked. King Herod Antipas for marrying Herodotus, which, he, which was his brother Philip's wife. Am I right about it? But instead of King Herod Antipas, instead of him repenting at the rebuke, he got mad with John the Baptist. Come on. And he locked him up in prison. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. How can you lock up your deliverer? Oh, I hope you caught that on tonight. That's good. How can you lock up your deliverer in your disobedience? I want you to talk to me on tonight. How can you lock up and throw away the key? Huh? How can you lock up the person that God has sent to help to deliver you? Oh, I want you to catch it. You know why King Harry Antipas did that? Because he didn't understand how to repent at the rebuke. Because his fleshly nature, come on, his fleshly nature wanted to have a woman that was not his. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. I tell you, no woman should bring any man to hell. No man should bring any woman to hell. Am I right about it? God says, after I rebuke you, you need to tell me you're going to continue in the thing that I rebuke you about. Then you are going to try to cut my head off and disrespect me. Cut my head off and disrespect me. In other words, when all oh, God speaking on this sanctified step, God says, when I say cut my head off, he said, you need to tell me you're trying to cut my authority off over your life. Come on. God is talking on tonight. My God, I'm, I'm about to run up out of this chair. I'm trying to stay calm, Father. I'm about to run up out this chair. I'm about to get up out this chair. The Lord says, after I've rebuked you about a thing, I've rebuked you about adultery. I've rebuked you about lying. I've rebuked you. I've rebuked you about fornicating. Come on. I've rebuked you about not completing the assignment. I've rebuked you by not, by not accepting your calling. I've rebuked you because you have not moved into the demographic in which I have told you. And you mean to tell me you're going to ignore me and cut my head off, try to cut my authority off and do what you want to do. The law says it shall not be so. Or I'm getting ready to tell you. I'm getting ready to help you on tonight. The law says it will not be so. This is a warning. My God for science. I'm telling you, the Lord always used me as a little horn. God will always use the willing vessel. Am I right about it? This is a warning on tonight. I'm warning you on tonight that if you don't stop it, it will be destroyed. Oh, God is speaking on this. Thing. The Lord says if you don't stop what you're doing, if you do not pay attention at the rebuke, the Lord says, I, the Lord God, I hear him say, I am he. I said that earlier. I said that earlier this week on one of my morning broadcasts. The Lord says, I am he. He said, if you don't stop what you're doing, you know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. The Lord says, if you don't stop what you're doing, I'm getting ready to destroy it. And you will be destroyed with it. My God from Zion. My God from Zion. Who wants to hear that they're going to be destroyed? Who wants to hear that the wrath of God is getting ready to hit them? Who wants to hear that? Whatever we are doing on tonight, I say we. Whatever we are doing on tonight, we want it to be pleasing in the sight of God. When God rebukes us about a thing and the Lord sends a John the Baptist to help you become free. Come on. You don't lock that person.
person away and continue in your wrongdoing. Oh, I talked about it. I talked about it. I talked about Ananias and Saul. Am I right about it? When Saul was persecuting these Christians. Come on. And, 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 and the Lord sent him to Ananias. Am I right about it? On straight street. Come on. The Lord says, I am Ananias on tonight. And God says he's trying to put you on straight street. I come to preach on tonight. I come to preach. I'm trying to stay calm. I come to preach on tonight. The Lord is trying to drop it in your hand in the seventh month. But you have not bowed down at the rebuke. When you truly repent about a thing, God is well able to forgive us. Am I right about it? When you truly repent about something, you make a 360 degree turn, meaning you never touch it again. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch what I just said. The Lord says to testify. I don't care if this broadcast is glory. I'm, I'm going to keep moving. As long as you can hear me, then that's all that really matters to me. If you can't see me, I want you to open up your spiritual eye, spiritual ears so that you can hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. I never forget. I was going out a lot. I was drinking a lot. I wasn't an alcoholic, but I can I can drink the brown color liquor. Am I right about it? And one night when I was getting ready, the Lord had started having me work in youth ministry at the Greater King Tribe Baptist Church. He had me working in youth ministry. And I would go out on a Saturday night and drink my crown and my coat. Come on, I'm talking on tonight. And I would go stand up the next morning and direct the choir at the Greater King Tribe Baptist Church. I did it. I did it, Miss Lily. I promise you. But as I grew, I stopped what I was doing because I start to understand the rebuke. I realized that I had to repent at the rebuke. I remember I was getting ready to go to a club in Donaldsonville where I have the camp at right now. The name of that club was Jeff's. Everybody know Jeff's in Donaldsonville. And when I went to the club that night, I was standing up and I was looking around that club and I said, you know what? I don't want to be here. Come on, I'm talking on this. I'm talking on this Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. I want you to catch it on this thoughtful. I want you to think about it on this thoughtful Thursday. I said, I don't really want to be here. And it was playing my song. They had a song that I liked. I'm telling you, they play it all of the time. I'm not going to sing it because I don't want to mess up the set, the anointing that's on the set. And I was listening to that song, and I'm telling you, everybody was bouncing the way it could bounce. And I stood up there, and I was always the one that would go to the club, and my friends would want to want me there. They would, oh, we're not going to go if you're not coming. I said, oh, I'm going to come, I'm going to come. But this particular night when I was getting ready, there was something in me, Miss Lily. Something was speaking to my spirit, Althea, that you don't really want to go anymore. Because the Lord has started using me as an example for young people. So I had to be that example. Now, I wasn't a bad child, but I was just kind of dabbling in things that I wasn't supposed to be in because I guess at that time I was still learning and I was still growing. Am I right about it? But when I got to Justin Donaldsonville and I got, in, I, I was standing up in the club and I remember my friends, they was trying to make me dance and they was coming all in front of me and serving me. And I was just standing there looking. I told myself, I said, you know what? You are getting ready to leave. And I left that club over 20 some years ago. And I have never went to one club since. And I have never drank at all. I promise you, when you do a 360, when you repent at a rebuke, it changes your entire life. It changes your entire sphere. Am I right about it? That's what I'm talking about on tonight. God is trying to change your entire life on tonight. God says he needs you to repent at the rebuke. If God has rebuked you for something, if the Lord has told you not to do something, if the Lord has told you not to be around a person, if the Lord has told you the idea that you have about the situation, it's wrong. Then leave it alone and repent at the rebuke. Oh, I'm talking on tonight. I'm talking on tonight. 
for those that will watch on tonight, which is Thursday, for those that will watch on Sunday, come on, for those that will watch next Thursday, if it's a replay, this word is for you. If you watch it on a pop-up, this word is for you. We have to understand that we have to repent at the rebuke. We have to say, God, I'm sorry for this thing. If you have an addiction, if, if you have a, a, a lust problem, if you are lusting after the wrong person, come on. I'm talking on this sanctified set. If you have uh, some issues that you, you need God to release you from, say, God, I don't want to be like this. I told God, I said, I don't want to be in Jeff's anymore. Oh, I hope you try. I'm trying to get y'all to catch me on tonight. And I want you to keep it. When I was in that club, I said, I don't want to drink anymore. You can't make me have a sip. Not even one time, because this is something that I have vowed to the Lord. I learned how to repent a true repentance at the rebuke. The rebuke was the Holy Spirit was in my stomach tussling while I was in Jeff's. Come on, come on. I used to go to every club. that they, Let me tell you, I could go to every club. I used to be in New Orleans, honey. I'm telling you, I used to be there. I promise you. I promise you. But when God took that away from me, when God, he, he let me know that I've called you to greatness. I've called you to minister my word. I've called you to be an example for the young people and for the youth and the children. Then your life has to exemplify a good example, a, a life of holiness and purity. Come on. Modesty. Am I right about it? The prayer is on. My God from Zion. I want you to catch it on tonight. So you have to ask, it, say, God, I don't want to be like this anymore. I, I don't want this thing that's in me. Lord, take this out of me because I want to repent at your rebuke. Oh, I want you to catch it. Some of us, we can't help our own selves. Some of us, we need God to come inside of us and perform surgery and take a thing out of us. If that is you on tonight, then open up your heart to what the spirit of the Lord is saying. God, I have a, a lion spirit. God, I have a, a gambling problem. God, I have an unforgiving spirit. Come on. God, I, I always have a spirit of offense. Come on. I have some mental issues, God. I, I'm mad at my mother for something that happened over 25 years ago. Take it out of me, God, so that I can carry the spirit of love. Oh, I'm talking on tonight. We have to understand when God rebukes us about a thing, we have to repent. True repentance. We don't go on doing what we want to do. God's blessings to you, Lakeisha Crawford. We have to know how to repent at the rebuke. We have to, we have to know when God has shown you that he don't want you to, to do something. Don't make your road destruction. Am I right about it? God's blessings to one of our sponsors, Mrs. Darlene Reese. I want you to catch it on tonight. When God is rebuking you about something, some of us are married, having ungodly conversations with people, texting people that our husbands don't know about, texting people that our wives don't know about. That's a rebuke. God will rebuke you for that because God is serious about the marriage covenant. Am I right about it? I'm talking on tonight. Anytime you see me on the set, and I know I'm glory to some, and that's okay, but listen to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Anytime you see me on this set, it is always orchestrated and appointed by the hand of God. I hear the Holy Spirit saying, the word of knowledge goes forth for you. An importation should happen for you. That after you leave off of this set, after you stop watching me, there should be something that I have said. To help you to make the 360 degree turn. So that you will have a true repentance before God. The seed tonight is 150. It's 150. Why? Because we are in the 14th day of the month of completion. The 17th month. The seventh month, I mean. One plus four is five. All I did was add a zero. Because Deuteronomy 1 and 11 says that God is going to bless you a thousand times more. Sow the seed on tonight of redemption. Some of you need redeeming. Some of you need restoration. 
Some of you need a restoration of your marriage. Some of you need a restoration in your health. Some of you need a restoration at your job. Come on. You need God to rewind the hands of time and set the, the atmosphere straight for you. We have to repent at the rebuke. If God is telling you not to do something, then that means you cannot do whatever that something is. Don't stop your blessings because of disobedience. Obedience. It's a training. It's a process. And we have to repent at the rebuke. God may send someone like myself to help you understand what you're doing right now, right now in your life. He's not happy about it. How you talk to people. How you treat people. Come on. How you're not fulfilling the calling in your life. You know, a lot of people say, oh, stop talking about sin, 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 sin. God is a God of mercy. God is a God of mercy. But sometimes God say, have mercy upon me that I was sorry that I created man. Oh, I'm talking on this sanctified Thursday. The Lord says you have to repent for the wrong things that you have done. Things start happening to you when you are traveling on a road of destruction. Everything around you, you start losing it. The things that you're trying to get, you be right at the door and something happens where you can't get it. That's living under a curse. Why are you living under a curse? Because you have not repented at the rebuke. If God has told you not to do something, if God has told you not to go somewhere, if God has told you not to talk to a person, you cannot do it. The answer is no on tonight. Take the seed information. Now, those that are sowing, just tell me I have sown. You have to understand what I'm saying on tonight. We are in the 14th day of the seventh month. Seven is the number of, number of completion. This is a recycling. Am I right about it? This is, this is a recycling. I want you to catch it. And we have to understand that God is bringing things back around again for you because he is redeeming the time. One five, that's a redemption. That's the number of redemption. That's why if you need something redeemed in your life, sow the $150 seed. You have to sow a seed to meet the need. It's not going to come anywhere else. You can't get a blessing with $5. Woman of God, I pay my tithes and my offering. I'm telling you, as long as the earth remains, there will always be seed, time, and harvest. This is how the Lord operates. This is the principles of God. I'm trying to help you. You are looking at a seed sower. Am I right about it? Some of you need the redemption. You need a fresh anointing oil of redemption to fall upon your life. Some of you have, are dealing with a lot of strife and agony and destruction will be your portion. If you continue in this path of disobedience because you have refused to repent at the rebuke. Oh, I want you to catch it. You know the things that you're not supposed to be doing. I don't know those things. God has not revealed those things to me concerning the people on tonight. But if you are watching me, then I know for sure, I know that, I know that I know. That's my Baptist talk. That God is speaking to you. That means you are a blessed person. Why? Because the Lord loved you so much that he sent an Ananias, that he sent a John the Baptist to warn you of impending destruction. What is impending? Impending meaning it has not happened, but it's getting ready to happen. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. Don't worry about if I'm blurry. I want you to listen to what the spirit of the Lord is saying. You have to be repentful. If God has rebuked you, you have to bow to the rebuke. My God from Zion. Oh, my God from Zion. If God has rebuked you, you have to bow to the rebuke. You have to bow down upon your knees and repent for this thing, God, this, 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 this great thing that I've done against you. What did David say? He said, God, it's against you that I've sinned and that I've only sinned. I've sinned against you. I've done this thing. God is calling you 
to repentance because the Lord is trying to bless you on tonight. God is trying to answer that prayer on tonight. God is all seeing. Did you hear what I just said? The Lord is all seeing. You can't hide from God. God knows the heart. Am I right about it? Oh, I want you to catch it on this sanctified night on tonight. On this daytime program, if you've seen it on Sunday at 12. If you've seen it next week on our Thursday broadcast as a replay. This message is for you. Oh, I want you to catch it. You have to bow after God has rebuked you. The Lord says, I dare that you walk proud before me. And I have told you that I'm displeased about this thing. Oh, God, I feel the glory. Oh, I feel the glory. God is preaching on this set on tonight. Who is God talking to? Who is walking proudly and doing things and not thinking about the fact that the Lord can see them? Stop it. Stop it. Impending destruction shall be your portion. I, don't, I love to come on and encourage people. But when God gives me a correction word, I have to go forward. The Lord has been giving me a correction word since this morning about myself and the people of God. The Lord is tired of watching us disrespect him. Avoid him. Disrespect him. Avoid him. I heard the Holy Spirit just say, am I not a king? Am I not a king? That sits on the throne. You're watching the virtual view. God watches you virtually. Day in and day out. The Lord does not sleep. Nor does he slumber. Whoever that is that just sit that paper. Let me know. Say woman of God I've sown. I want you to say I've sown on tonight. Because God is trying to get something into your hand on tonight. But it's not going to come in the state that you are in. It's going to come through repentance. If God has rebuked you about something, I dare you. I dare you. Continue in your way. And disregard what the Lord has told you. When God gave me that scripture about Harry Antipas the king and her riders, I immediately understood it. That he was trying to show me something. John the Baptist was an oracle that spoke to the king. The Lord used the prophet to speak to the king, and the king would not he, the king would not bow at the rebuke, and he locked up the very thing that the Lord brought into his face to deliver him. Don't lock up this word that I'm giving you on tonight. Don't throw away what I'm telling you concerning your life. Some of you I can feel. I can feel. God's blessings to you. I always want to say, Minister Lily, God's blessings to you, woman of God. Thank you for sowing on tonight. Sow the 150 seed. Tonight, that is the seed amount, 150. I'm not going to change it. Because God is talking about redemption on tonight. God is talking about redemption on tonight. Am I right about it? As I sat here and thought, the Lord is bringing me back to John the Baptist. King, Herod, Antipas, and Herodas. Don't lock this word away and disregard what I'm telling you. There is impending destruction on people. There is impending destruction in this nation. Oh, but that's another preach. I'm talking on this sanctified night and I want you to catch it and keep it. Don't be destroyed. Don't be annihilated. Don't be dismantled because of your disobedience. Did you hear what I just said? Don't be destroyed. Don't be annihilated. Don't be dismantled because of your disobedience. Destruction is going to be your portion. You can already see the key indicators around you. People being disrespectful to you. Things not happening when you want it to happen. 
they are all in there. They, they are all key indicators that you are operating under a curse. Some of us are too proud to say that they are operating under a curse. But you have to be truthful to yourself. Am I not preaching preach that truth? Am I not preaching preach that truth? Am I right about it? As I hold my hand up, the Holy Spirit gave me the word surrender. My God from Zion. God is asking us to surrender on tonight. To surrender our will and to surrender our way. Do you think God wants to destroy you? If God wanted to destroy you, I wouldn't be sitting here. God loved you so much that he put me on this set tonight to tell you to stop it. The thing that you're trying to hold on to, God says, I blocked it. I want you to catch it. The Lord says, stop it on tonight. Because the thing that's destroying you, the Lord says, I've already blocked it. Oh, I hope you caught it. Don't be too proud not to bow and pray. I'm talking on this sanctified night. Don't be too proud to bow and to pray. God is calling us to the altar on tonight. God is calling the nation to the altar on tonight. My God, my God, my God. There's a cry in the wilderness. Come on. Did not John the Baptist cry in the wilderness? There's a cry in the wilderness. You are like the Israelites. We are like the Israelites where we are being disobedient. And we are running around in the wilderness. But the children of Israel, they cry out to God in the wilderness. Am I right about it? I was reading Judges, 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 Judges in the early morning hours. Come on. And the Lord brought me to chapter 4, 5, and 6 where, where, where he showed me that he, he gave many judges to deliver Israel. First, he delivered Israel into the hands of the enemies. And then the Lord would give them judges like Deborah. Come on, come on, Barak, come on, come on, come on. Gave them, now Barak was not a judge, but he was a person that the Lord used. And Deborah was the judge at the time that gave the orders to Barak, my God from Zion, because Barak was scared. And Deborah told him, he said, Deborah told him, she said, if you don't do it, then a woman, the Lord is going to deliver the king into the woman's hand. Come on. I'm talking on tonight. We are running around in the wilderness. We're like the children of Israel. What does a wilderness represent? A wilderness represents being lost. We're lost without cause. John the Baptist, he preached in the wilderness. Come on. Am I not ministering to you on tonight? To stop your impending destruction. See the orchestration of God. If you look around, the Lord is always he's everywhere. God is everywhere. Impending destruction shall be your portion. And not too many days from here, thus says the spirit of the Lord. I have to say what God has given me to say. When God gives me a feel-good message, don't I, don't I come in as an oracle and you feel good? This is a message of rebuke. This has been in my spirit since yes, till, since this morning. Because we go to God, we pray to God, and it's a facade, it's a routine. It is a spirit of a Pharisee and a Sadducee. It's traditional. The Lord says, I need a true and painful heart. The Lord sees our heart. He sees the condition of our hearts. He says, I'm looking for a real servant for real. He says, I'm looking for a real servant for real. He's ready for you to do the work that he has placed in your hands. He is ready for you to complete the assignment. I feel like Noah. I'm always preaching about completing the assignment. Because that's what the spirit of the Lord is saying in this hour. This is why the Lord uses me to preach holiness. 
You can't complete an assignment any kind of way. You can't expect to receive blessings from God any kind of way. There are prerequisites when you serve God. I know people want to talk about grace and mercy. God is full of grace. God is grace himself. Deuteronomy 4 and 24 says God himself is a consuming fire. Am I right about it? But must we abuse the grace of God? Is that showing God love? That's what he's talking about in this hour. They have people abusing the grace of God. Just because they know God is forgiving. But this season, in the seventh month, the Lord has put an iron fist up with his right hand. And he is getting ready to bring some of us through chastisement. The Lord loves us so much that he is willing to bring us through the wilderness and allow us to endure the testing. Am I right about it? When I was reading last night in Judges, it talked about the children of Israel and how many of the Israelites that had battled, they had all died. So the Lord allowed some of them to experience battle so that they could get used of Warring with their hands. Come on. We are in a process right now. And we have to repent. At the rebuke. Why do you want to touch the iron. If the iron is hot. Why do you want to touch the iron. And the iron will burn you. Why do you want to be. In a relationship. With a married man. Why do you want to be in a relationship. With a married woman. Why do you want to continue. To be in the crack house. Come on. When God can take that taste. And that addiction away from you. When God can take that lust power problem. Away from you. Why do you lie. When the truth is always available. I'm talking on this sanctified Thursday. Why do you rebel against the calling that the Lord has placed on your life? Why do you live in the wrong place and the spirit of unity is not with you? The spirit of unity is being in the right place at the right time with the right people and the right things happen to you. I'm talking on tonight. But tonight the Lord is talking about cleaning up your spirit, not looking good on the outside, but being clean in the inside. They got a song, Minister Lily, that I used to hear them sing. Won't he make you clean? Inside, come on. God is talking about making you clean in the inside. And it comes out on the outside. I want you to catch it. It's about being beautiful in the inside first. And it shines out on the outside. God wants you to shine with his glory. Am I right about it? God wants you to shine like a beacon in the world with his glory. But you have to repent at the rebuke. You have to accept the rebuke. I understand now. That is really, it, it is, it, the, the presence is so heavy on this set. That is blowing up the whole screen, I promise you. I can see the, I can see the glory of the Lord up in this place. Because the Lord loves us so much, he wants to get us straight. This is not going to be a popular addition. Preach that truth is not going to be popular. Not with people that wants to live wrong. But it's going to be very popular with people that are deciding to transition in their minds and to allow their hearts to be transformed. That's what that's, this addition is for. There will be many that come over and hear me talking. And it will get off because they don't know how to repent and to repent. But 
for those that seek to listen to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. They are the ones that are going to grasp the message from preach that truth. John the Baptist preached the truth. He told him, he said, you brought a fight was in Matthew 12 and 34. Am I right about it? He said, how can you who are evil say anything? My God from Zion. Won't he make you clean? Come on. We need God to make us clean on the inside. So it will shine bright on the outside. Am I right about it? We need God. Somebody saying, check sound. Check sound. Check sound. Elvia, can you hear me? Am I good? I want them to hear this message. The devil is a liar. God wants to make you clean in the inside. Go and listen to that song. Won't he make you clean? Inside is a wonderful song. People that was on drugs and was addicted to drugs would listen to that song. And that song would help people to be delivered. I'm talking on the sanctified Thursday. But we have to repeat and to rebuke. Thank you, Althea. We have to repeat at the rebuke. I hope that you were blessed on tonight. I hope that you caught the word on tonight. I'm getting ready to get off. The Holy Spirit said you have done your job. I hope that you catch it on tonight. I talked about John the Baptist. I talked about Ananias. And you receiving your sight again so that you can see. I was was blind, but now I see. I want you to catch what I'm saying on tonight. Transform lives. Transform mind. Take it in the third dimension. Because you decided to repent at the rebuke. For those that don't repent at the rebuke, then destruction will lift up your eyes. I promise you. If you are watching me on tonight, that means you need to look at the world that you are on. You have to examine yourself. Am I right about it? Come on. Come on. Come on. You have to examine yourself. There's a scripture that popped into my head. It popped into my head. Second Corinthians 13 and 5. You have to examine yourself to see whether you are in the feet. Whether you believe what you confess that you believe. Come on. Do you not realize that Jesus Christ lives inside of you? That's what that scripture says. He says, unless, of course, you, you fail the test. We are all in the wilderness. And we're trying to see our way through. That second Corinthians 13 and 5. That I just read. I, I felt somebody say, what is that scripture? And the Lord is our cloud by day. And our fire by night. In light we see light. Oh, I like that. That's in a psalm somewhere. It says, in your light, Jesus, we see light. Because Jesus is light. Jesus is the truth. John 14 and 6 says that Jesus is the truth, the, the way and the life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No other can come unto the Father but by him. That means Jesus is the light. Jesus guides you to the Father. Am I right about it? I like that. Elphil says, I can see clearly now that the scales are gone. I like to say like this, Althea, I can see clearly now that the rain, the trouble, is gone. Why did the trouble leave? Because I decided to repent at the rebuke. Oh, I'm talking on tonight. If you don't change, then God will change it for you. Thus says the Spirit of the Lord. 
He says, if they don't change, I will change it for them. Destruction shall lift up your eyes. Why call upon the Lord's wrath? But he's warning you. He's warning you to repent at the rebuke. Who is God talking to? What is that thing that we're doing that the Lord is not pleased with? You are getting ready. I, it's, it's, it's amazing how I'm sitting on this set. I can hear myself preaching before I say it. You are getting ready to lose everything. You are getting ready to lose everything. Because you refuse to repent at the review. And after you lose everything, you'll lose your mind. And the devil is a liar. This straight on straight street, Ananias, is waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Get yourself straight and walk in alignment with the assignment. God is calling you up hither. He's calling you up higher in him. Stop walking around with the chickens. It's time to fly with the eagles. The Lord says, I'm trying to bring you eagle flights. Come on. He says, I'm trying to bring you eagle flights. Must you wade in the water and drown ocean deep? Because you do not want to repent at the rebuke. The Lord says, the devil didn't send you. He said, I am he. I sent it. I hear him saying in my spirit that I have to get the attention of you. Now that the rebuke is known, now that the rebuke is valid, now that you know I am he that has sent it your way, now it is time for you to repent like I did when I was in Jeff. I haven't drank liquor in all, all, over, almost over 20 years and don't have a taste for it. Because I repented at my rebuke. God says, how are you going to stand up in front of the choir and direct my praises? And you have alcohol all within you. Oh, it's all right to drink a little wine. No, it's not all right. God wants us to be cognitive. To hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying at all times. We can't dabble in this and dabble in that. That's not holiness. And holiness is still right. I have to preach the truth because that's who I am. Hardcore. Am I right about it? Because we live in this hard society. Do you think the devil is playing with you? The devil is trying to kill you. He's trying to kill you. Not only is he trying to kill you, he's trying to kill your assignment. How can the devil make the real thing? He'll send a person. If he can't distract you enough, he'll send somebody else to distract you. And you'll lose everything. Right before your eyes, you'll lose it. That's right, woman of God. We have to always be ready. We have to always be ready. And even when we're ready, Elfia, we have to walk steady. Am I right about it? How many people know that song, Rock City? Come on. We have to be steady. And we're, we have to walk circumspectly before the throne of grace. I hope that this message blessed you. Put the information up for the seed sowing. For every person that's sowing seed last spot, the virtual view. I thank God for you. I thank God for the praise reports that I get. I'm excited for some people that have actually caught seed sowing. That's a beautiful thing when you learn how to sow seeds. Am I right about it? Because those seeds protect the assignment on your life. I heard the Lord say, the seeds, it, it, it brings in whatever you need. You sow, if you don't have enough, you sow so that you can have enough. Does that make sense? So I plead a Deuteronomy 1 and 11 over everyone that have sown on tonight. That 150 seed, that 15 that's in it, it comes from the date of 145. If you watch this, if I get off live, and 150 is still for you. Remember.
to name your prayer on your scene so that Minister Javon can know what I am praying about concerning you. Put the email address on the screen so everybody can get my email address. Whenever I email you back, that is not a representative. That is me talking directly to you. If you send a prayer request to that email address right here, I promise you that's me talking to you. Everyone that sold the seed in CELA Production Incorporated, CELA Spot, the virtual view, our ministry side, CELA Serenity Prayer Line, I pray for you upon my altar. Things are happening for people that sowing seeds. So a woman of God, I've sown a seed, I've not seen seed time and harvest. Did you see how I did my hand? Seed time at harvest. When your harvest comes, it's going to be catapulted. It'll be your time. And it'll be your turn. But first, you have to make the 360 degree turn. You have to repent at the rebuke. I'm getting ready to get off. Now, the, now I want to become clear, and that's fine. The spirit of the Lord was so heavy on this set. I promise you, I felt God getting ready to Cross me out this chair. When he starts talking about how when he rebukes us, we ignore him. Am I right about it? And we try to cut off his head like King Herod Antipas did John the Baptist. Cut off his authority in our lives. My God, I had to preach a whole conference and slay everybody. We are not supposed to try to cut the authority of God off our lives. Is he not the creator and we are the creation? God says, receive your sight on tonight. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. I feel the glory upon me. Receive it on tonight. Receive your sight on tonight that you can see. Eyes have not seen, no ears have not heard. My God, my God. Nor has it entered into the heart of man. The things that the Lord has for those who love him. Receive it on tonight. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Not only physical healing, but spiritual healing. The redemption. The redemption. Did you name the seed? Name it. Name it. This Name the seed for me. Media team. It's a redemption seed. The zero is added for a thousand times more. I'm doing a recycling with my hands because God is bringing things back around. Althea was following me last year at exactly this time. And she back on again. I wait until the end of the broadcast to tell you that, Althea. She went away. But last year around this time, Althea was following me. So that means, Althea, God has recycled things back around for you, for you to see me. Sow your seeds and God will meet your need. God's blessings to you, Rebecca Joseph. God is recycling things. God is redeeming the time. That's what redemption means. God is redeeming the time for you. The things that you miss. God says, I'm getting ready to bring it back into your midst. Oh, my God from Zion. God says, the things that you miss. I'm getting ready to bring it back into your midst. The thing that you M-I-S-S-E-D. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to bring it back into your M-I-D-S-T. I want you to catch what I just said. I want you to catch what I just said. I want you to catch what I just said. God is getting ready to bring everything back to the center for you. That's what missed me, M-I-D-S-T. God says, I'm getting ready to do it for your center stage. I'm getting ready to prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. Thus says the spirit of the Lord. I want you to catch it on tonight. But first, you have to repent at the rebuke. Whatever you are doing, stop doing it. Let that person go on and be married. Some of us are trying to marry things. 
that will murder us. My God, I'm getting ready to get off this sanctified set. Some of us are getting ready to marry things that's going to murder us. It's going to kill us. If you don't learn how to bow and pray, if you don't learn how to repent after rebuke, then destructions will lift up your eyes. I promise you. Some of you are trying to marry things that's going to murder you. It's going to kill your vision because it's not in the will of God for your life. The will of God is always lined up with the word of God. It's always lined up with the word. I want you to catch what I'm saying. God stopped me in the middle. God says there's someone on this set that needs to sow the 150 seed. I don't know what your need is, but you have it. Just throw it out and give it to God. Am I right about it? And God is going to do what he is supposed to do with that seed. You've been dangling, should I do it? Just do it like Nike and watch God do it. God's blessings to you, Doretha Webster. Remember to name your seed. If you did, if you sold and you didn't sow the 150, go back and add it. My God, add it to make the 150. Because some of you are going to do the 360 degrees turn. And your life will change forever. Oh, I hope that you caught the glory on tonight. The seed information is on the screen. You can leave it on for another minute and you can take it off. The Lord has spoken on this set on tonight. If you are just coming on like Rebecca and Doretha, I want you to go back to the beginning and I want you to watch it. I'm up late on tonight. I'm tearing in. For the people of God on tonight. I'm tarrying because I love you. I want to see you make it. I don't want you to miss the mist. I don't want you to miss the mist. The center of what God is getting ready to do. God is getting ready to bless you before the watching world. Some people are going to say, how did they do that? And you're going to say to God, be the glory. Come on. How did that person become miraculously healed? To God be the glory because you have learned how to repent after rebuke. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to keep it. I love you. I love you on this night. I sweat on tonight. I want you to catch it. I want you to keep it. I want you to catch it and I want you to keep it. I said on my post because I want you to catch it and I want you to keep it. Repent at the rebuke. Whatever that thing is, whatever that person is, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. You get ready to lose everything. And after you lose everything, you'll lose your mind. It will become a mental situation. Thus says the spirit of the Lord. The devil is a liar on tonight. When the devil went up to heaven, walking to and fro, the Lord asked him, he said, where have you been? Where have you been? And the devil answered the Lord and said, I've been to and fro to earth, walking to and fro. And God said, have you, have you considered my servant Job? God is saying on tonight, have you considered Lily? Have you considered Althea? Have you considered Doretha and Rebecca? Have you considered them? I hear Bruce Carter in my spirit. Have you considered Bruce Carter? Come on. God is bragging on you on tonight. If you're watching me on tonight, the Lord is bragging on you on tonight. God says in his word, I shall never make my servant ashamed. So if God has vowed not to make you ashamed, don't you make God ashamed. If he's bragging on you on tonight, that's an honor. Have you considered my servant Lily? Have you considered my servant Tasha? Come on. 
Have you considered my servant, Doretha, Althea? Don't you make God shame on tonight. You do what you're supposed to do. And you repent at the rebuke. Have you considered my servant, Javon? Come on. The Lord is speaking on tonight. I'm getting ready to get off. The Lord has served a full course meal on this night. He has served a full course meal on this night. Either you're going to eat the meal and digest it. Or you are going to digress it and avoid it. This is preach that truth on Selah Spot, the virtual view. Obedience. It's a training. You have to learn how to repent at the rebuke. Sow your seed so that it can meet your need. God bless you. God, we bless you, oh God, in this new month of seven. Oh God, we lift you up, oh heavenly and divine master. Oh God, we praise you in the heavens, oh God, and we worship you, oh God, in the earth realm. Oh God, for there is none like you. So we praise you, oh gracious master, oh God, in this seventh month. Oh God, you are oh God high and mighty. Oh God, we praise you, God, that in the seventh month, oh God, it is complete. Oh God, I praise you in the heavens, oh God. As I think about your name, oh God, I see Adonai in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you are the master teacher, oh God, in this month of seven. So God, we thank you, God, for the spirit of completion in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you have already went before your people, oh God, and have blessed us, oh God, with the things and the provisions that we need in this month of seven. Oh God, five, oh God, represents, oh God, oh God, it represents, oh God, the number of grace. Oh God, we thank you, God, for seven, five, oh today, oh God, for seven plus five is twelve. Oh God, twelve, oh God, it's also a number of completion. Uh, oh God, we thank you, God, uh, that on this day, oh God, uh, you are reassuring us, oh God, uh, you are reassuring us, oh God, uh, that it is doubly completed. Uh, oh God, even in your word, oh God, uh, when you have said something twice, oh God, uh, you are trying to get your people's attention. Uh, oh God, soul, soul, uh, am I right about it? Uh, my God, my God, uh, why hast thou forsaken me? Uh, oh God, we thank you, God, uh, that you have doubly blessed us, oh God, uh, on this day of completion. It is complete. It is complete. Seven completion. Seven plus five. Five is twelve. Completion. Complete. Complete. Oh God. In Jesus Christ. So God, we thank you, Father, for the great provision, oh God, that you have set forth for your people in this month of seven. We thank you, Father, that we have entered into a new cycle, oh God, of your mercy and grace, oh God, in this year. Oh God, we have entered, oh God, into the second quarter, oh God, of the thing that you have orchestrated for our lives. Oh God, for everyone, oh God, that's listening under the sound of my voice. Oh God, bless them, oh God. Bless them indeed. Oh God, enlarge their territories, oh God, as they go forth, oh God, with the spirit of completion. I hear it in my spirit. It is complete. It is complete. Oh God, you are saying it twice, oh God, because you want to get our attention, oh God, for us to have the faith to believe, oh God, that you have already completed it and that you have already done it. So Oh God, we praise you, Father. We thank you, God, upon this great day. Oh God, you see it in your word, oh God. Moses, Moses. Oh God, when you call people twice, my God, you are trying to get the attention of the people. Oh God, grab us, oh God. Help us to see, oh God, that everything, oh God, that you have promised us, oh God, it is already complete. It is already complete. In the name of Jesus, double, double completion. In the year 2022, oh God, two meeting the number of agreements. Now we doubly agree with you, oh God, that it is double
heavenly oh complete oh god in the name of jesus concerning our lives oh god we cancel oh god every demonic plane of the enemy we cancel oh god every demonic plane of the witch we cancel oh god every soothsayer oh god and every enchanter oh god we cancel oh god the plan of the devil oh god concerning our lives satan the lord himself has rebuked you in this month of seven it shall come to pass alas it shall come to pass god when you say alas in the bible my god you are trying to get our attention the lord says alas it will come to pass god is promising you that he has already done it in the name of jesus it is complete it is complete it is doubly complete upon this day of grace Seven five will not lie. You lie will not lie. God says I am a faithful God. Lamentations three and twenty three. God says you lie shall not lie. Unless it will come to pass. God is promising you that whatever He has promised you, it shall come to pass. And that it is so. It is so. You know otherwise. Oh God, I thank you, Father, for the nations that's listening. I thank you, God, for you, God, that in Antarctica. I thank you, God, for China, oh God. I thank you, God, for the UAE. I thank you, Father, for Dubai in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, Ooh. for Africa in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for Ethiopia, oh God. I thank you, God, for the nations of the world. I thank you for the USA. Oh God, bless, oh God, our president, oh God. Give him long life, oh God. Satisfy him, oh God. Lead him, oh God, into the ways in the past of your righteousness, oh God, that he will lead, oh God, a holy nation. Oh God, touch him in the name of Jesus. That he will be obedient, oh God, to the things that you are calling him to do. Oh God, we thank you for the orchestration of your hand. We thank you, God, that you have intervened. We thank you, God, that you are helping to shape the laws, oh God, of this nation of the United States of America. Oh God, you are strong and mighty. You are El Shaddai. Oh God, you hold us up, oh God, in your right hand. Oh God, we please your God that you are healing the nations, oh God. You are healing the nations as you intervene, oh God. You are healing the people, oh God, of the nations in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, God, that your spiritual, oh God, agenda is going forth, oh God. Oh God, at the White House, my God, your spiritual agenda is going forth. Oh God, at the Supreme Court, my God, your spiritual agenda is going forth. Who is the Lord? The Lord is strong and mighty. He is the King of Kings, oh God, we thank you, God, that you rule and reign, oh God, in the nations, oh God, and in the nations that came in. You are Alpha and Omega, oh God, you are the beginning and the end. We thank you, so God, we thank you, God, that you are present, God, that your presence is present, oh God, that your presence is present, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I hear it in my spirit. You lie, you lie, you lie, you lie, you lie. You lie, will not lie. She wants you to believe it. I want you to say it. July will not lie. I will guide in July. I want you to say it. I will guide in obedience in the month of July. Oh God, we thank you for the testing. We thank you, God, even for the blessing. We thank you for your grace and your mercy toward us. Oh God, bless families. Bless people with health conditions. Oh God, let healing, oh God, be their portion. Oh God, let the lamb walk in the blind sheep. Oh God, miracle signs and wonders. Oh God, shall be their portion of God in this month of seven in this month of seven it is complete it is complete where's this Moses my God my God Saul Saul come on come on unless the Lord says that I am letting it come to pass God says I've done it I've already done it God says you say two words to me and it is so in itself you know otherwise say thank you God says thank you God says say thank you to me as I have worked for your behalf oh God, we thank you, God, that you have worked on our behalf in this month of seven. I hear the number 11. I know that the number 11, oh God, it's the number of switch. You have switched some things, oh God, that your grace is sufficient, my God. Your grace is sufficient, oh God. Chapter the Corinthians 12 and 9. We are grateful for your grace. We are grateful for your provision. We thank you, God, that you are supplying every need. Oh God, as I get off, oh God, let your ruach, oh God, of the south wind 
wind, oh God. Blow, oh God, into the houses of everyone. Blow into the cars of everyone. Blow into the workspaces of everyone. Blow into the cell phones or the regular phones, my God, of everyone that's under the sound of my voice. Their provision, oh God, will be their portion, oh God, in this month of July. July will not lie. It is complete. It is complete. Unless God said, I'm bringing it to pass. In Jesus' name, I pray. I lift this prayer up to you, God, in the third dimension. Oh God, before your 24 elders, the presence of your angels, the cherubims and the seraphims, oh God, your mighty angels of glory, the archangels of heaven, oh God, Michael, Gabriel, Gabriel, Tahuna Dell, Salida Dell, Rachel and Uriel, oh God, even the angel that makes up your throne, Zoe, oh God, oh God, we praise you for the angelics, we thank you for third dimensional help, we thank you, God, for the army of angels, oh God, even in the second dimension, that fights the demonic forces and the demons against our lives, oh God, even the international borders, I see it in my spirit, protect those, oh God, that's preaching the gospel, oh God, that's crossing the seas, my God, your pure and righteous servants, oh God, protect them, oh God, as they preach your word, in the name of Jesus, I'm reminded, I'm reminded of First Timothy, in the third chapter, it says that God was seen in the flesh, he came in the flesh, he was vindicated by the spirit, he was seen upon by the angels, he was preached in the nations, he was believed upon in the world, he was taken up into glory, oh God, we thank you, Father, for blessing us, God, with the gospel of truth, the gospel of truth, oh my God, the gospel of truth shall reign in the land, I hear it in my spirit, the gospel of truth shall reign in the land, remember, it is complete, it is complete, True lie will not lie unless God says I'm bringing it to peace. Oh, God bless you on this great day. I seal this prayer by the blood of Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, God bless you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. From quarantine to always being on the scene, Sea Productions Incorporated has birthed Sea Law Spot, and it is hot, 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 flaming hot with the Holy Ghost fire. As Minister Javon Ophelia Butler brings the word from the four winds of God of the third dimension, the place where God lives, pulling down the kavod, God's Shekinah glory. Introducing Sea Law Spot, the virtual view, God's view about you. Boxing the devil through prayer. Prayer is your only weapon. God's mercies renew every morning. Join us for fire straight down from heaven as we go to war through prayer with Sila Serenity Prayer Line with Minister Giovanni Filia Butler. Dial in at 857-347-0610 or stream live from Sila Serenity Prayer Line on Facebook. For prayer requests, send your email to selahprayerline at gmail.com. Moving the nations through prayer and Selah Spot, the virtual view. Catch the wave and join the movement. Like us now. All things, Romans 8 and 28, for your good, harder not your heart. And allow your heart to say yes to the spirit of obedience. The Lord is calling this nation down to its knees. Stop praying, heal the land and ask God to heal you so that you can heal the land. God bless you. Fresh wind blowing through. Fresh wind blowing through. Fresh wind blowing this room, Holy Ghost fire. Fresh.